I have a lot of images. Wouldn't it be nice if you can kind of categorize images in your media library? Well, there is a way. And today in this video, I'll be showing you a way on how you can actually categorize the images in your media library. Now, if you are new here, go ahead and click on that bell and subscribe icon. And if you are a returning subscriber, you know, leave me a comment, leave me something nice. You know, I had a bad day, you know, my dog was sick, you know, I took her to the vets and, you know, tell me something nice about me. You know, my hair looks good or I lost weight, you know, something something to, to, to keep me going, you know. Uh, anyways, let's go ahead and talk about uh, this plugin that I found. It's a very underrated plugin. It has a very little amount of active installs. Over here in our plugins, I'll click on add new and we will type in FileBird. FileBird, just like that. And right here it is. So it has a thousand active installs. It's made by Ninja Team. Dot org. That is a name. Are they, uh, that's a good, interesting name. Ninjateam.org. Okay. It's interesting. So here I click on activates. And over here now, when I click on media and go to library, you're going to see now that I have certain categories. Now, I was actually already messing around with this earlier. So uh, right here, you won't see anything. But, um, you know, I can always just delete this folder right here and just make a new one. So right here, I'll just, you know, click on delete. And I'll just make a new folder. So right here, I'll just put uh, people. Okay, and then over here under all files, it's a very simple drag and drop editor. So just simply take the image and then drop it in there. And then again, right here, all files, simply take it, you drag and drop, you drag and drop. I hope you get this. It's pretty simple to understand, right? And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, it's a very simple plugin. It really helps you uh, clean stuff up because I know uh, once you, your, uh, your site gets very large and big, I mean, look at this. I have so many images on my website and I, I need them categorized because sometimes I want to optimize it, right? So uh, with this plugin right here, you can really just kind of categorize everything and make it really simple. Now, they also do have a pro version, but I don't think the pro version's that needed, but I will say it anyways, just to help support the developer. Uh, you can actually get up to 10 folders for free with the free plugin. And quite honestly, that's a lot, you know, 10 folders. But if you want something more, you want more than 10 folders, if you have a lot of images in different categories, uh, you will need to actually upgrade to the pro version where you get the ability to have more uh, folders and you also get support. Now they do also have a free trial as well. So if you wanna go ahead and check out the free trial, you're more than welcome to use that. But quite personally, I think I don't really need the pro version because um, you know I don't have more than 10 categories, but if you do have more than 10 categories, you might wanna consider the pro version. So that's about it. That's all I want to show you all. I just wanna introduce you all to this plugin right there because <clears throat> you know I, I really need it. You know, you, look at this. this. This is a mess, you know, this is a complete mess and I really should add that plugin to my list. But um, anyways, I hope that plugin was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments what you think about that plugin uh, below. And for those uh, subscribers, you know, I, I need some confidence. You know, I, I just, you know, tell me my hair looks good. You know, something, you know. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see you all in the next video.